In this video, let's look at technique 2, which is running a docker container as a daemon. So what is a docker daemon? It's a process that runs in the background of the host machine rather than the direct control of the user. So a docker daemon manages objects like docker images, containers, networks and volumes. So when we have a container, why do we have to run it as a daemon? Some of the advantages are you can keep containers running in the background even after closing the terminal. And another use is that we can have multiple containers running at the same time. Let's say we have multiple databases that we have to run. We can do all, all of that at once without keeping separate terminals open for each database. So in this technique too, the problem statement is that we want to run Docker container in the background as a service. So the solution to this problem is that we use the hyphen D flag to the Docker run command which is usually the third step. Let's look at the steps in this technique. The first one is to create a Docker file. What is a Docker file? It is a text document that contains commands that a user can call on, on the command line. So the aim of the Docker file is to give Im instructions for creating a Docker image. So I have already created a Docker file here. Uh, we have to be mindful of the fact that we need to be in the directory where we have created the docker file. So here I have created docker file in the directory devops and let me display the docker file. Yes. And some of the instructions that the docker file includes is the form from Ubuntu 23.0. Point one zero. So this from keyword, it sets the base image for giving subsequent instructions and the label is used to label author is used to define the author of the docker file and label description is to give a description about the file and the run command is used to specify any command. So let's say here the command that we have given is to update and last is the CMD. This instruction it specify it is specifying the instruction to be executed when a doc a docker container is running so that is creating a docker file the second step in this technique is to build the docker file again here to build the docker file one has to be within the directory where the docker file is included in this case it is in the directory devops so here the command to build the docker file is sudo docker build hyphen t here hyphen t is nothing but a flag that we use to specify a tag name for the image so here i'm giving hyphen t and next is to give an image name let's say i'm giving it an image image 5 colon and a tag name let's say 2.0 space dot dot is used at the end of the command in order to specify the current working directory and now it prompts for the password and here the docker file has been built the next step is to run as a container so here for the command the command for the step is sudo docker run hyphen d here hyphen d is a flag which can is used as an alternative to double hyphen detach so this is the main command of this technique and it is used to push that container to the background and run it as a daemon so here it is sudo docker run hyphen d the image that we name that we had given was image 5 and tag name is 2.0 and this has been pushed in order to verify whether this process this container is running as in the background we can give the command sudo docker ps hyphen a so this command lists all the containers that is up and running and here we have image 5 with the tag 2.0 and with the command displaying hello world running here 
in the first line. So this is about technique two.